universe depends on everything fitting together just right. If one piece busts, even the smallest piece, the entire universe will get busted. Well, we have something quite special tonight because it's the Oxfam charity screening of the Beasts of Southern Wild. We're going to chat to Simon Pegg, who's going to be hosting it. So, a lot of fun, but actually, for a good cause. I'm Rachel Mullins, and you're watching the fan carpet. Simon, tell me a bit about why you wanted to get involved in tonight. Uh, well, first and foremost, I, um, I was a big fan of the film, and then um, when I was contacted and asked if I wanted to host this in uh, a conjunction with Oxfam, it just seemed like a no-brainer. You know, I, I, I wanted people to, to, to see the film, but also, you know, Oxfam is such an incredible organization and do such, such a force of good around the world that it just felt like something, it would be churlish to say no, you know. Definitely. Why do you love the film so much? It's just a beautiful piece of cinema, you know. Cinema's uh, an incredible tool for art. I think it gets forgotten sometimes, you know. There's a lot of whizzes and bangs, and I'm responsible for a lot of those whizzes and bangs on the big screen. But, you know, cinema's also an amazing sort of... It's an amazing conduit for just, you know, for shared experience. And, uh, and, and I, I love that kind of cinema, you know. So I wanted to do something a bit different and... You know. Charitable cinema. Yeah, but not, but just, just, just beautifully made, well thought out, intelligent cinemas. You know, art is, uh, is, it shouldn't always be, you know, totally enjoyable in a way. I think things should challenge you a little bit. This film is challenging. It's also beautiful. It has an incredible central performance. So I, I just wanted to get on side with it. Are you excited to actually watch it tonight? Yes, I've seen it, of course, but uh, it would be nice to watch it again. I think it's one of those films that stands up to repeated viewings. So. Yeah, you pick out new things each time. Yeah, it's, a, it's an incredible sort of palette, this movie. It's got it, it, there's so much going on in it. And, and, and also, you know, it, when you watch it the first time, it's hard to take it all in because it's such a blast of emotion and visuals. And it's, it's something else, you know. And the director is so young. And, and I think it's brilliant that films like this are being made. Cool. Let's go back to Oxfam. What is it about that charity that inspires you? Well, Oxfam's been around for a long time, you know, and it's, it's, it's a tried and tested, proven way of, you know, um, helping a lot of people on the ground, you know, whether it be in an emergency or, or working with communities to reduce poverty. It's, you know, a really enduring, popular, successful charity, and it, it just it has to continue, you know. There are so many things against uh, goodness in the world. You know, there are so many forces of... of of ill in this world that something like Oxfam is just it's vital that we keep it going and, and keep its profile up and keep things moving with it so absolutely yeah and are you going to crack out any jokes tonight when you introduce it I don't know I don't I haven't really written any especially for it uh, I think I'll just be fairly studious oh natural yeah I just you know I'm, I'm I'll be uh, I'll just be a, 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 a the polite host <laughs> <laughs> I'll believe that when I see it like <laughs> Once there was a hush puppy and she lived with her daddy in the bathtub.